No, okay, thank you. Oh, wrong oh, building. No. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I wonder, can we just walk over? No, we need to drive, crud. Well, we went into the wrong building. Story of our lives. So now, I've got to haul my behind on over to the Lord. Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. This was Tiff 100. I'm gonna share a little bit more about my channel, so stay tuned. about making this another day in the life of a full-time working single mom vlog and um, today is a busy day I am actually working today it's a Friday but then also I have to take baby girl to an ophthalmology appointment she recently had her four-year checkup no, y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I'm tying a sweater around my waist in, in case I get cold at the doctor's office. She had to um, go to her four-year checkup, and um, I guess she wasn't cooperating well enough for the uh, the vision test. And I thought she did well, but <laughs> to be on the safe side, they want her to see an ophthalmologist. And so today I'm taking her to do that and I'm not really excited about it because I know they have to dilate her eyes. She has to sit for about an hour before the doctor can see her um, after they dilate her eyes. I'm not excited about that because getting a kid to sit still and not touch on things for an hour, it's different when it's not COVID. They can touch on whatever they want, but during COVID, it's not really the the most fun thing I want to try to do, keep her from touching things. But whatever, it's necessary. It's too late for us now. Why do we stay? When I blame you for the things that weigh me down. Cause in the echo of your silence, I only hear what's best for me. Why not? In case anyone's wondering what makeup do I use, I actually use MAC, M-A-C. I'm open to other makeups. I have tried others, but they tend to rub off on my clothes and I'm, I don't like that, especially because I have a little one. 
and it's not just me, so I don't want to be rubbing off on her clothes and my clothes. Mac seems to stay put, and so it's an oldie but a goodie. I have been on this healthy eating lifestyle and fitness journey for a while and this is one of the first times where I'm actually not doing a, a diet so to speak I mean I guess if you think about intermittent fasting or keto maybe you call it a diet but for me, I have focused on what does my body respond well to and what does it not respond well to. And so I started with doing the Shred 10 program with Juice Plus, which is 10 days. You're basically loading your body full of fruits and vegetables. It's amazing. And you eat other things. You can eat meat and things like that, but the goal is that your diet is plant-based so most of your plate is full of fruits and vegetables and so I did that program but chose to make it a raw vegan program because I noticed and you've probably heard me say this in other videos my body just wasn't responding well to some of the foods that I'm actually used to eating and um, this is such a cute little package. So I don't know if you can see this. this. This is not Mac. This is Bobby Brown. One of my good friends is also Peyton's godmom got this for me. I love the colors. They're all really natural and beautiful. And so I will be using the eye makeup from the Bobby Brown palette. Um, so it's called Fever Dream Eyeshadow Palette. So it's got ivory, hot honey, bronze light, red rock, and undercover. <laughs> I guess this is the undercover. <laughs> but um, I guess this is kind of like a chit chat get ready with me at this moment. And I just noticed my body just when I started responding negatively to foods that I am normally used to eating such as gluten and I later learned after going to two different ear, nose and throat doctors, ENTs and two different eye surgeons, <laughs> yeah eye surgeons, that apparently I'm allergic to something. So my eyes were always watering. I, I was just suffering, even though I was getting allergy shots. But allergy shots is for the environment. Like if you're allergic to trees, grass, weeds, dust mites, pollen, pet dander, the environment. But this allergy apparently was to food and no one knew what I was allergic to. But the second eye surgeon that I went to, who was suggested to me by the first eye surgeon, uh, the first eye surgeon says you need to go see an eye special, an eyelid specialist. So when I went to her, she says you you're allergic. She's like, I could operate on you, but I'd prefer not to because what I would do is just temporary. And she would have put like stents in my eyes to keep my eyes, oh, to keep whatever you know this area is open so that the water would drain inside and not outside my eye. But she was like, that's just temporary and it's not going to solve the issue. She says, I think you're allergic to something because your nasal passages are swollen and it's clogging up. It's swollen and it's clogging up the um, area in which you need to be open so that your tears will drain inside your face and not outside. So she says, I think you should just like keep getting your allergy shots, use the neti pot. Um, what else did she tell me to do? Take like Claritin D or Allegra or whatever it was and just try to heal yourself that way versus surgery. So 
I talked to a friend of mine. Sorry guys, my camera cut off on me. So the doctor basically said, try to heal yourself without surgery. So I talked to a friend of mine, her name is Anjuel, and she has a business called Natural Grown Life. And it's, it's wonderful. And she's currently studying to get her, um, her PhD in um, identifying how to heal your body naturally through foods and a healthy lifestyle. And so when I talked to her, she said, um, how much gluten do you have in your diet? I kind of laughed, but I listened. Turns out she was right, and I am allergic to gluten. So I'm going to link her website in the description box below so that you can check her out. I'll also link her IG page. But she was right. Turns out I'm allergic to gluten. <laughs> Who knew? And then later on, and so that all, I, I learned about that over a year ago. But recently I learned that I'm also a, allergic to cheese and processed foods. And I love cheese. <laughs> love cheese. Almost as much as I love chocolate. But at any rate... I noticed that my body was responding negatively to cheese and processed meat. And so I then decided I need to also move those out of those things out of my diet as well. So I wasn't going to use lashes, but I think I will now. I am using just store-bought lashes, nothing nothing um exciting it's called looks so natural looks i mean it does it looks natural <laughs> it fits its name and when i like for my lashes to stay i use this what is it called probably not the best thing for your eyes but whatever Well, every time I use this, I think of Gorilla Glue. It's not Gorilla Glue, but it does keep everything in place. So, I, when I noticed that my body was also responding negatively to cheese and processed meats and processed foods, I was like, okay, I need to really change everything. And that's when I decided to do the shred 10 program and try it out doing raw vegan style people on shred 10 some of them do eat meat because it's perfectly fine um, you can eat meat there are certain things that you you shouldn't eat actually maybe i will link i'll show you what the shred 10 program is here you can see it but I did that and I did it raw vegan and I actually gained a pound <laughs> I went from 182 to 183 and I think it's because of all the carbs I was eating because I was eating tons of vegetables and fruit and you get a lot of carbs from from fruit especially even from vegetables but they were healthy for me so I didn't worry about the weight gain I knew my body was also getting adjusted to this new lifestyle change and I learned that my body responds more positively to plant-based keto so I decided to after that program was over in 10 days to start a plant-based ketogenic diet program and I started that program on Monday at 183 and today is Friday and I now weigh 179.8 apparently that's what my body likes. So I'm just gonna keep at it. Enough blabbing. Let's put in work with these lashes.
Okay. These are the eyes. I kind of messed that one up a little bit, but I'll fix it with liner. So the curl's not fully popping, but they popping enough. They are popping enough. And I will take, I will take it. All right guys, so this is the verdict on the final look. This is how my hair is looking. Makeup. <laughs> now we got to get baby girl together. Mommy, wash your hands real quick. Okay. Toothpaste ready. And the water is ready. So now I'm gonna do her hair and um, get her ready. Okay, so let's, we're gonna do your hair now. I got my shirt. Yep, you look really pretty. Wow, you look so pretty. Yep, you look so pretty. You look so pretty. Thank you, so do you. It's your eyelashes. How does she know anything about eyelashes? I don't know what she knows about eyelashes, but I guess she's been watching her mom long enough to know a little something, something. So guys, this hair, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I washed her hair and styled it and it was so beautiful. Maybe I'll insert a picture. Um, I even had her sleeping in a stocking cap. All that was working fine, but kids can be rough, even little girls. And so, it doesn't look as fresh as it did. Not a big deal. We can still touch it up just a little bit. Her hair responds really well to this grapeseed oil. And so that's what I like to do as far as the oil is concerned in her hair. So I'm gonna take her braids down, not the front. I'm just gonna touch that up and touch up her edges. So 
I don't think I told y'all, but baby girl actually cut a lot of her hair off. And you can't really tell because it's growing back and um, I've been braiding it, using different products in her hair to help it to grow, keeping it conditioned through washing it. And, um, but I never used to really braid her hair this much. Ah! You know, it's so funny, whenever moms are showing their daughters getting their hair done, the child cooperates so well, I never hear them say ouch, and I'm like, oh my God, the mom does everything so perfectly. And then when I became a content creator and realized, oh, you can edit that stuff out. <laughs> I'm, I'm not crazy. editing this out. You get to hear her complain. Oh, because gosh, let's just be real. That's the way life really works, doesn't uh, it? Yeah. Let's show the family your hair. Look at my hair, it looks beautiful. It's so beautiful. Ah. This is so cute, I gotta show you ah. this. You're welcome to go look at yourself in the mirror. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness. What? It's my hair. How do you feel? Pretty. It's very pretty. You're pretty. Let me clean up the mess I made and then get her snacks ready. Do a little bit of work and then we'll get ready to go. She's also going to have lunch before we leave. Been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hood. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me. I'm trying to get my water in. But I would never All right, so now I'm gonna quickly make her snack, put her lunch together so that I can warm it up around 11 o'clock so she can eat it. Never, ever, ever seem to be over, I saw So I'm happy I got freed. Hey everybody, happy Friday. So I'm going to send this one email out and then get baby girls lunch together and then take her during lunch break to the ophthalmology appointment. All right, so let's get lunch together. Okay, so baby girl just finished her lunch. I have her snacks packed and ready to go and she is now using the potty and then when she gets done, we are going to jet out of here. It is 11.50 and her appointment isn't until 12.15. The place is pretty close by. It's not too far, but they do want us to get there 15 minutes early. So we really need to be there in like 10 minutes. Okay, so you're gonna carry your, your snacks? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Seat belt. Yep, your seat belt. Why? Because safety comes first. First, good job. Okay guys, I'm gonna enter in this address. Sorry the camera's shaking, it's because it's on my leg. Yeah, on my leg. So let's enter the address. Guys, it is so weird. I don't even know if you can hear me. To be wearing masks, I mean, even though we've been doing this for some time, it's just still not normal to me. I don't know. Mommy, you're back. Mommy, mommy. Mommy, mommy. Okay, we're gonna put your mask on too. Okay. I'm all of this. I'm the all of that. No, 
okay, thank you. Oh, wrong building. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I wonder can we just walk over? No, we need to drive, crud. Well, we went into the wrong building, story of our lives. So now I've got to haul my behind on over to the other, Lord. Little did I know, this, she is going to Texas Children's, but it's the ophthalmologist isn't in this building. They're at the building next door. Oh dear God. All right guys, here we go. You're like, mommy, what is going on? What is going on here? <laughs> Look. Come on. Now hold my hand. Put your feet where the feet go. Okay, step back. Right there. Now put your hand on your tummy and look straight over here. Okay, thank you. All right, come, let's sit over here. Okay, sit next to mommy. Sit right here. Oh, I don't oh. even know if I brought my hand sanitizer, but well, we shall see. Okay, so I'm really happy that they're gonna go ahead and take us, given that we went to the wrong location first and we're a bit late. But they have called up multiple kids ahead of us and I'm kind of annoyed because it's really challenging keeping a four, get your hands out of your face. It's challenging keeping a four-year-old still and occupied. I'm not even looking at the camera. Hello. <laughs> it's challenging keeping a four-year-old still and occupied. They get squirmy, as you can see. She's squirmy. They get squirmy and yeah. Earlier she says, shall we go to the doctor? I'm like, we're, okay, she's moving the camera. Stop. I'm like, we're already here. Even though you can't tell because they haven't called you back yet. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be so bad if I, if she didn't have to get her eyes dilated and still wait another 45 minutes to an hour or so. It's just it's a bit of a longer appointment than I really had expected. I'm just hoping they call us back soon. <laughs> Some soap. You want to want you want antibacterial for your hands? Mm -hmm. She is just like her mother. Rub your hands together. Rub them together really good. Good job. Clean. All clean now. Okay guys, we just finished up at the ophthalmologist office, ophthalmology office, and um, let me take this off because we're in the car now. Um, turns out baby girl is a little nearsighted like our mama, <laughs> but not enough to actually need glasses or anything because if she wants to see far back the doctor said she'll just go up to where she needs to go um, but we're gonna bring her back a year from now when it's time for her to go to kindergarten and um, if she ne needs glasses then we'll just get prescriptions then but my prayer is that she won't need it because one less thing to be concerned with and also just you know just want her to be well but we are leaving now and we are about to hit this road and I'm gonna get her some food from Chick-fil-A. She already had lunch. She's probably just gonna eat a snack, one of the snacks that I brought her, maybe both of them. And then I'm gonna go to Zoe's kitchen and get my meals because, you heard that? Where are we going? You're back to the office. She knows mommy's working today, so we're going back to the office, so. We'll see you when we get to our destination. Thank you, you too. What did you 
is not. I tell myself what. So guys, I've been doing OMAD, but I do snack a little bit after I eat, so it's not like official OMAD. Um, but I guess sometimes I, I'll do the 20 hours fasting, four hours eating. Sometimes it'll I will eat between an eight hour window and fast for 16 hours. It just depends on what my day looks like. And it depends on how my body feels. Like if my body's still hungry, I'm not gonna be like, oh no. I only can eat between these up. No. I listen to my body. Hello. Hey, how you doing? All right, what's going on? I thought I'd just call you and let you know how her ophthalmology appointment went. Um, she did really oh. good. I'm, I'm surprised at how well she did, but they had to actually give her four different eye drops and two drops of each one in each eye. <laughs> which is a lot, but they had to numb her eyes and then dilate them, and the numbing drops are supposed to help from the other drops, I guess, burning a little bit. Did she cry? Yeah, oh yeah, she cried. I had to kind of hold her down, but we had a really great nurse and doctor, um, and so they were really accommodating. They even played, they asked her what movie did she want to watch, and of course you know, she, guess what she asked for. Frozen. Yep. Elsa. <laughs> Elsa. She heard it. Elsa. We just made it inside before the rain started pouring down as I said we would. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's let's go put your let's go wash your hands. We're gonna wash your hands face. Come on. This I doubt that we can solve it. Been trying for so long and I just can't ignore that it won't Good job. Bubbles mean your hands are clean. Your hands are clean. Ah ah. It was just a bubble. <laughs> change get back on my computer <sighs> make sure I didn't miss anything important and then get the food ready I still haven't eaten and it's 314 not good so I will be eating shortly all right she's changed nothing special just every day house clothes I do like my my house sandals though these are really cute all these memories that we made Okay, family, your girl is finally eating. I chose to eat the falafel meal for my my meal today. So I just really eat one meal each day. I call it OMAD, one meal a day. I, I eat quite a bit. But again, plant-based keto. Actually, I probably will not have had any meat today, and I'm okay with that. Falafel is good. I got all that I need. No need to apologize. No, we won't waste any more time. Yeah. I am all that I need. No need to apologize. No, we won't waste any more time. Yeah. That is good. Mm. Sorry guys, 
that lemon dressing, that hits the spot like none other. Like none other. Guys, you may see baby girl come ask me for my food. Normally I would, but when I started doing this OMAD, I'm like, mm-mm, girl. You didn't already have breakfast. You've had snack, you've had lunch, you've had two snacks and ice cream. Uh-uh. <laughs> Let mommy be great today. Mm-hmm. Yes, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, today is my mom's birthday. So I just want to wish her a very happy birthday. I love you to the moon and back. Um, outside of my daughter, she's my favorite girl. <laughs> and I know she's enjoying her special day with with my dad and so I'm grateful to God for her life for their lives they are a blessing wonderful parents well guys I guess I will end the vlog right here I know I did not do a bedtime or nighttime routine in this vlog I'll try to incorporate that in another single mom vlog but I appreciate you for rocking with me and baby girl today on our little excursion um, what a day in the life of a single mom looks like um, a full-time working single mom at that and then also I don't want you to be a stranger guys you can follow me at fit with tip 100 on Instagram and on Facebook I appreciate you for rocking with me today guys y'all know this is your one-stop shop for everything fit from being fit in your finances fit inside your body and fit in your thoughts and until i see you in my next upload i want you to always stay fit in your thoughts as this, you know this is a single mom vlog and then also stay fit inside your body i showed you some of the healthy meals that i eat and um also showed you a baby girl getting her eye doctor her ophthalmology appointment so stay fit inside your body that is so important and I will see you in my next upload. Take care. Bye. Baby girl, you wanna say bye to the family? All right, now say bye to the family. Bye, family. Bye, family. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.